Yo, 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 everyone. Welcome back. Um, as you can hear, my voice is just a little moi. I'm um, going to show you the project of uh, Inner Voices, which is my song that came out on Stamps Records together with Isa. Um, yeah, pretty funny. Uh, the story is uh, back in the day, I think uh, last year or maybe two years ago, I did a uh, Twitch live streaming. And in that Twitch live stream, um, Isa showed me his song, which was called Inner Voices. Um, he showed me his song, and um, yeah, I was just immediately like, oh, this is a very, very, very good idea. Um, so this song took about, I think, two years almost, maybe even longer. Um, because I, w I, w I was liking the song, but it didn't feel around that time like, hey, um, I'm really uh, feeling this moment in my set right now. And, uh, you know, sometimes you don't really have the right inspiration just to go uh, for a kind of a, um, for a yeah, clear view on it. Um, but, um, yeah, in this video, I'm just going to deconstruct everything basically about the processing and what sounds I used and uh, how uh, the whole mixing came together and also uh, some mastering. Uh, hopefully I can fit those things uh directly and um yeah i'll show you some of the sounds uh the lead sound i'll probably have to open up a uh, uh, a project where isa made it so he basically made that sound uh like the main lead sound and uh yeah you know what let's hear it how it how it uh, came together right you, you've seen the, the main lead and uh right now we uh just going forward about this Part. I don't know what it is, but it's a stab. It's, I made from samples. Uh, let's hear it. And what the sample is, is this is the name of the sample, I believe. And this. I know. I don't know what it was and if I bounced it or yeah, it just had like some ambient something. And then a very small cut from it in the in the right key. Kind of like this. Same thing goes for this one. And that's too, just a small cut of it. And those things together. Pretty nice. Um, there is this kick, which is also coming along with that stab. And then you have some punch in it. Makes sense, you know, pushing through just a little bit more. Um, Alright, um, then, 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 we go to high control, and all these things right here, as you, what you can see, are all linked to, like, this bus, and, um, yeah, let's hear it. Yeah. So I wanted to have like this as a blended something and then, you know, had the same high end all over the place and then uh, have a bit more control of that. Um, so um, I named it high control, just, uh, you know, have control of the leads. And then I did some like uh, some multiband compression on these parts. Then some golfers. And then I used UAD Moog. And I think just for the drive, yes, because it has like a very specific kind of sound. Get out. Uh, 
balance in just a little nice and then uh, yeah there is some soothe have some control around this area and then um, I put this on and this is an old tape simulation so just cut off some edges and just give us like some tape saturation on it so it changes the sound just a little Share it without. So what it does, it just tames down just a bit of those ha harsh frequencies on it, and it gives it a bit more warmth. Uh, then an EQ here. Um, you did some dynamic. EQing on that part here as well, you know, some some crashes you're just pushing out pretty loud and uh, you know, this way I have a bit more control uh, and then also this EQing uh, Not very drastic just to give it a small push on uh, that area and then uh, let's hear it with those EQings on Without. With. A bit more glued. And then we have this plugin knock. Um, just give it some clipping, basically. And some punch, tangent. And then gain match. So we just uh, keep consistent on the level and a bit of air and then the vintage mode. So. Yeah, give a nice flavor to it. Is that right? Right, and then we have Studer. Studer is also like a tape saturation. Um, yeah, just, you know, if you do like some input on it and then obviously it becomes louder, but it, it comes in a bit louder into this tape simulation and then I tim it down in the output just a little and these are different settings you can try different tapes um, so let's hear it and without with A bit better glued together so now basically we have like those elements of the lead we have it tackled just a bit more control like that and then the symbol just come in pretty nicely then explore 